Jack, right? Yes. And then, okay, Cena. Yes. <laughs> I was like stalking into her. I was like, Jack, Jack. Thank you. Uh huh. Wait, how old is Cooper? Oh, uh, he just turned three. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Stop trying to talk to me and go shower. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so good. <laughs> this is like wedding vibes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I know. Just move the table. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I'm not gonna want to take it down. Poopy, do you love it? Hi, you guys. I haven't been able to talk to you all morning because I've been running around. I just got out of the shower. I'm letting my hair dry. Jack and Tina are doing the balloon garland on the outside now. You guys just saw the one on the inside and it's so beautiful. I'm waiting for Christian who is a makeup artist. He's gonna come and do my makeup. Riri's doing my hair. I'm so excited. And usually I do my own hair and makeup for everything. This is actually the first time that I ever booked a makeup artist to do my makeup for a special occasion. I usually get my hair done. His name is Tony. He's based in Riverside and he's amazing. But I thought this would be a really good excuse to try out different makeup artists and hairstylists because we have our wedding around the corner. Not too close but like close enough where I should be like trying different makeup artists and hair um, stylists to see who um, I guess does it best. <laughs> so, just let me do your makeup. 
Oh, no, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> so I'm very excited. Um, chairs and tables just came. We have food yes. coming. Yes. We have more balloons on their way. Um, guests are coming later in the evening. We decided to have like a six o'clock thing when the sun goes down because it gets really hot here. So I'll show you guys that later. But you guys, I just wanted to take a moment and express how amazing Jack and I think her, I think her actual name is Jack, Jacqueline? But she goes by Jack. Jack and Tina are amazing, you guys. So mm -hmm. this is actually their side hustle. Um, they're called the Balloon Ladies. And this is what they do on the weekends from Monday to Friday. They actually have nine to five. But I'm hoping and praying and manifesting with them that this balloon business becomes their full-time job because they are seriously so sweet. And this is not sponsored or anything. We paid full price. We paid for everything, which you always should. Support small businesses, you guys. A lot of people are starting now and you know it's it's what is my what are you doing baby oh because they're like with your hands no but it's just like stained okay anyway as i was saying it, it I, I say this all the time on my channel you guys know this if you guys have been watching a lot of my vlogs you know that i advocate for small businesses i think sorry <laughs> I think that it is so important for us to support small businesses and it's so important for you guys to support your friends and family that also have small businesses. Don't expect things for free, you guys. Contribute to their business, you know, support them by buying something. Spread the word. You, you can easily repost giveaways so you can easily repost your friends and family's businesses and support each other. So check out the Balloon Ladies. I will list their Instagram down below. Book them for your event, you guys guys they are so talented and so amazing and so nice um i believe that they're really good friends and um they started the business six months ago it's only been six months so i hope that one day it becomes like their full-time job and we're definitely going to hire them again for future events we're already planning a few at the end of the year looks really good it's so pretty a lot of the people that we hired today for the party are actually small businesses so i'm excited to share more small businesses with you guys but yeah i'm just I think COVID uh, really pushed a lot of people to be like, hey, maybe I'm do like what I, I love. think they, yeah, I think like a lot, I think a lot of people were already maybe thinking of what business to do. Yeah. And I think COVID was like, oh. Well, it definitely pushed us, we but we just didn't do it last year. We're doing it this year. Yeah. I don't know if she'll keep this footage in, but um. Hey, the host gotta eat. True. Because I can't eat. You'll be right. too busy. The taste good. Mm-hmm. Wait, you're not gonna eat with me? Hey guys, my makeup's on. Which uh, jello do you want? Mm, which one's the best? So we have green apple, blue. Oh, I'll, I'll take that one. Huh? Green, green. Michelle made jello shots. Watermelon. Oh. I thought green apple. Green apple or watermelon? Mm, I'll do green apple. Okay. Well, there's not a lot of green apple because I didn't. I've never had one. This is my first jello shot in 20 years. Have fun using your tongue. Oh, it's like a tongue thing? Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. <laughs> That is like the most unflattering <laughs> way to eat it. Are you sure there's no technique? I mean, you can just stick your finger in there, but I hate doing that. Michelle made these, you guys. Homemade with love. I can't do it. I have red lipstick on. Damn. Is it bad? No. I love it. Mmm. Mmm. The perfect amount of alcohol. Mm -hmm. Not bad. You can't friend. I'll have 10 more. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, back to my oh, one. Oh my gosh, you guys, Jack and um, Tina left and the balloons are so pretty. I do think they're very pretty. They're so pretty. They did the outdoor one too. I couldn't resist. The crawfish looks so good. No one's here yet because the party doesn't start until another two hours. Um, <laughs> I didn't want people to be like, wait, fuck, is everyone? <laughs> the party of just us three. Ooh, <gasps> here. Sausage. Also, Aaron's um, chalito sent over rim dip and mm. yeah. yeah. Oh my God, thank you. I'm so excited for the guests. You guys, this is my favorite place to get um, chamoy and like fruit dip and rim dip. It's so good. I'll link them down below. Check out Aaron's chalitos. They also sent over this tray of, of like the, the spicy chamoy gummies and stuff. So we're gonna open this for the guests, but look at all of this, you guys. I'm so excited. We're putting this over there by the bar area so Veronica and Michelle can make drinks later. All of the vendors 
Are they called vendors? I don't know what they're called. Everybody is coming in an hour to set up. So we have taco people setting up, we have the bar people setting up, we have um, kind of like La Michicana, and then we have Cantorito. I never, I can't remember the word. I don't know, but that's how I remember it because you always say that. Canter, oh, I'll show you guys. They're like the clay pots that you make drinks in. Uh, in. So uh, we're really excited. We have Chipotle coming, we have Raising Canes, we have um, Seafood Boil along with the tacos, and then we have, I think that's it. Oh, we have a charcuterie board that was uh -huh. custom made, so that's happening. I'm very excited, you guys. You guys, look, we got crawfish, we got a uh, shrimp boil, we got some snow crab, and then more crawfish. Look at the seafood display, y'all. You guys, I don't know if I'm gonna get footage today, so I'm already making a disclaimer. But we have everybody setting up outside. The bar people are here. They're setting up the open bar for everybody. And then Liz and her husband Tony are here. Hopefully later Carlos can, and can get some footage of everybody. And then taco people and um, we have another person coming at, I think, in like 30 minutes to set up. We have Chipotle on the way, we have Raisin Cane's on the way, and we have a charcuterie board, and um, then tacos will be available, and then we have drinks galore for the next five hours. So I'm very excited. How pretty is my hair, you guys? I just got my hair done with Riri. She came over and curled my hair. I wish I would have paid attention when I was getting my hair curled because I brushed them out and they look absolutely beautiful. And I'm wondering if the reason I have so much volume is because a few weeks ago you guys remember I cut my hair into layers and I think layers give you a little bit more volume when you curl it so I freaking love it you guys I think I'm gonna end up wearing this set from Zara a lot of people have been telling me on Instagram that it looks like a pajama set but I promise it's not it's meant to be like a very casual laid-back like fashionable set I got the top and the bottom from Zara hopefully you guys can see maybe when I stand back here it looks like this it's so comfortable it's oversized you're supposed to like tuck it in and then I just love like all the detailing and like on the sleeves and everything so I'm very comfortable to like hang out and eat and see all of, um, our friends that are gonna come I'm so excited a lot of our friends from LA are coming down Carlos's feet hurt so he changed his shoes yeah these are so comfortable. <laughs> so I'm so excited <laughs> you can't even lift your foot up silly Can you show them sure I like these here. Nice. Look, these are, uh, champ they look like slippers, but I, they're meant to be worn outside too. They got this hard sole. Look yeah. how handsome he looks. And it's, oh, thanks. And it's a, uh, it's a sweat. it's literally a sweater. It's like a champion sweater. It's got little drawstrings and then it has, remember this little pocket right here? Oh yeah. Wait, I want to show people how handsome you look. Look how handsome he looks, you guys. Hello. So pretty. You're so stunning. Beautiful. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, bye. I am putting together little envelopes for everyone's tips. I like to tip individually in cash, just so I make sure that the people that are catering, you know, personally get it. So I'm putting them in envelopes, making sure that there's money in here. Not just giving them an, a plain envelope. That would be so bad, you guys. Okay, gotta go, bye. and Heather, our amazing neighbors next door, brought us um, July 4th food. <laughs> I think yeah. they're having a 4th of July party. Last night, you guys, Carlos and I will talk all about the party in a little bit. We're still recovering and it's 6 o'clock the next day. Last night at like 9 o'clock at night, we went over and brought them fresh tacos and like oh, yeah. <laughs> literally, uh, literally like 3 pounds of crawfish, babe. Oh, you took them seafood too? Yeah, I was like, because I knew Sean liked uh, crawfish. Yeah. Remember that one time he told us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been dying to give him uh, crawfish. Do you want to try the steak? Sure, I'll try a little bit. The ceviche? Should we just eat with her? Our house. Carlos's mom is coming over. <laughs> yeah, she's mainly... So at the end of the night, we ended up putting a bunch of the agua frescas into uh, little mason jars and stuff. Yeah. So we have a bunch of them in, a bunch of them in the fridge. It was then... from the taco people. Yeah. And my mom was like, hey, if you have any water, like the, the, the tamarindo one, like I really want to, I really want some. And then she's like, um. and then, and then my sister Miriam was like, hey, 
My, uh, ugh, dang, I'm all over the place, man. I'm so tired. My mom was like, hey, Miriam wants to know if there's any more crawfish left. And we were like, yeah, we have a ton. She's like, okay, I want to go pick some up. Baby, this is so good. Oh, I'm so full, but I'll try it. Just try this. It's really light and super good. I don't know if Sean or Heather made this, but they always have the best food. Like, okay. I don't know if Sean made it or Heather made it. I know they made it at home. Wait, I want to get, uh... Get the crawfish? No, I want to get, yeah, I want to get everything. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. Oh, wow. Is that so good? And there's, like, a mm. bunch of onions. And I hate onions, but this is so good. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Okay. That tastes very, um, uh, very cocktail de camarón style. Okay, I'm try the shrimp. The shrimp cocktail that I have. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Oh wow. Okay. I'm very interested in this steak, right? Mm-hmm. Steak baby? Mm-hmm. So good. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Wait, what did they use to um <laughs> Cause it tastes kind of like um, it's like a very light sweet but not super sweet. Wow. Mm. Yo, their <laughs> their cooking is good. Oh okay, right? baby, this this stuff mm -hmm. on the steak, mm. I think would be amazing. Oh, you know this like a little bit of mango in this would be good. Mm. Okay. I'm so full though. Yeah. There. What is this? Mm. 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 Kind of want to try this first. What is this? Oh, that's interesting. That's like sweet potato kind of? Not sweet potato. Oh it's like kind of like potato salad. Dude, our neighbors. I freaking love all of our neighbors. We have the best neighbors. Their cooking is so good. We have the best neighbors, man. Oh, man. <laughs> that was good. The mm -hmm. steak is bomb. I don't know what I don't know what he used, but it's like a very... It's not... I, I don't want to say sweet because it's not. It's like a... It, it's kind of like a light touch of sweet. Like you can barely taste it, but like it, it's mm. so good. I need this recipe right here. Okay, I'm ready. We're still talking about Sean and Heather's food. <laughs> oh my god, I just tried the... <laughs> it's so good. I just tried the baguette thing, you guys, and it's... Oh my gosh, it's out of this world. So guess what, you guys? Guess I'm what? Out early. Guess what? Yeah, yeah. Guess what came? Gosh. It was supposed to come July 29th, and it came today on July 4th. I'm so excited. Yay! I love this, oh my gosh. We're super excited. Oh, uh, even Brian was like, because he told me, he, oh, he's like, oh, you guys switched your couches out. Uh-huh. And I was like, yeah, because the other one was just too big. And he was like, dude, that, that space looks huge now. I know. Isn't it so big? Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Bubs. Okay, I will link, I will link these couches down below because I already got so many questions about them. They are the clip sofas from Living Spaces. And they pull out into a huge bed. Both of so, them do. Both of them yeah. do. That's what's super cool about it. So this pulls out into a bed, and this pulls out into a bed. And they're super easy. You just lift this and pull it out. Mm -hmm. Super easy. This just pushes out. Yeah. Boom. Easy peasy. And then, boom. And then boom. And then boom. So this. Back your bed. So this is a twin, and then this one is a queen. Yes. So, like I said, you can have some couches in your space, and you guys are actually really comfortable. Ooh. Oh, it fits you. Oh, this is nice. Ah, I don't like. These are the same couches I got my mom. Oh yeah, mom has these. Because my mom's living room, um, it's not as like super. It's not super spacious, and so we needed some. I was like, oh, let's get her some couches that are nice, kind of like small. Oh, sorry. And yeah, they double up as a, like a little sofa bed and stuff. So you just pull it out. And then you fold. Flip, flip. Easy. And then the cushions that were on the couch right here, they become uh, your headboard. And this is yeah. the queen size bed. Very spacious. I love it. Boom. And there we go. Yeah. Nice. I love these couches. They're amazing. I'll link them down below. Hi, guys. It is a new day. Uh, 
Um, we've been running around all day. We have Mr. Koopy in the, oh, he's not in the back anymore. He was in the back. Uh, we are going to Veronica and Ruben's place. We are so excited. We literally planned this like late last night. And what had happened was at our housewarming party, um, our real estate agent, agent John and his wife Lisa, who if you guys have been following us, I don't even know if I ever told you the story. Um, I'll tell you the story another day, but to make it short, John and Lisa are now like really close friends of ours. And they came to our housewarming party and they gifted us Wagyu steak. And if you guys are big steak fanatics, then you guys know that Wagyu steak is one of the best pieces of steak that you ever get to eat. It literally melts in your mouth and it's so good. And John and Lisa are such foodies like us, so I was literally so happy when I saw the Wagyu steak in the bag. But um, we wanted to share it with Veronica and Ruben because they literally helped us so much with the housewarming party and we appreciate them so much. Um, they're also our closest friends that live literally down the street from us. If you guys didn't watch my previous vlogs, we met Veronica and Ruben at the very first apartment that we ever moved into back in 2018 when Carlos and I first moved out of our mom's house. Veronica worked at the leasing center and she worked at the front desk and that's how I met her. And then after living there for a year, we started having dinners with them and hanging out. And then fast forward to 2021, Ruben and Veronica just bought a house down the street from us. So we're really, really excited um, that we have familiar faces from Orange County. And so we are doing like a little barbecue at their house. I got all of us some um, ribeye steak and lobster tails. They have no idea that I brought lobster tails. And then we also have the Wagyu steak, which we're really, really excited about. And then we also brought Koopy because Veronica requested for the chicken nugget to come along. She is uh, trying to persuade Ruben to get a dog, Loki. So we're really, really excited. So we cut the fat. We're gonna sear this bad boy. Yes, please. Yes, honey. I didn't go to culinary school for nothing, <laughs> but my husband really is the one I cook. He has a garden. We want to show you. <laughs> <laughs> it is literally thriving. Thriving, <laughs> yes. And then here's the. I'm sorry. Here's the steak. Steak. Oh yeah, Cooper's here. Where is he? Koopy. Cooper. He's like. Cooper. Be a give me a toy. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're ready for the Wagyu. Hold on. Don't drop it, V. You got one job. No pressure. Hold on. I'm gonna take that. Just cut it over here. Should we time it? Um, yeah. We should. Yeah, we, I, think, timer, I think we need a timer, you guys. It's gonna be how long? A minute and a half. Is that is that what we saw on Google? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's what I saw on TikTok. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. I trust. Ooh. Should I cut this piece off first? No, 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 don't touch anything to me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you cut it, you cut it. <laughs> you cut it, I don't want to mess it up. No, no, I'm not messing up, too much pressure. Come on. Okay, go, go, go. No, 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 man, I'm, I'm real nervous now. Go, 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 go. Go, come on. Okay. Go. Do it. You believe you're gonna cut this off? That's what I just said, he said no. <laughs> I literally no, but, I mean, said that. It's just like the way you were holding the knife. How much should I cut the pieces? Just long? Slice it. Just yeah. maybe okay. start on. Just right here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's fatty? Yeah. I don't know. She went to culinary school. I'm nervous. No, honey. Ooh. Ooh that is it. You. you guys go first. Yeah, you got yours? Yes, uh -huh. yes. Go first. No, go first. Um, at the same time. I get this one. Ooh, go away. Go away. Right here. here, go, baby. Right, I'll just, I'll just go in the line. Oh, snap. I'll get your other half. Oh, okay. Okay. Cheers. 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 Cheers, you guys. Mm. Damn. Mm. Wow. You have etiquette. I literally just shoved it all in my mouth. Oh, I did too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you gotta taste it. Mm. That literally just Yeah, melts. get more, get more. I'm gonna that. cut the rest. That literally just melts. That literally just melts. Oh my god, you guys got toys. Oh. 
this is her version. Oh my God! So Wolfboard um, is a small business that was created by by one of my subscribers, and you guys met her in a vlog. I'll link that vlog down below. But she's based out of the Bay Area, and so now she's starting to ship uh, little uh, boxes out. So if you guys are in Southern California, you can order from her, and I'll leave the information down below. All of the food. For the dogs are like completely natural and super healthy oh my gosh i'm so excited look at all of these wow this is so awesome i'll link her instagram and everything down below she, it even comes with a little board yeah wow she thank makes, you she makes custom dog charcuterie boards they're so cute you guys look my little plants are growing so i'm starting my own garden and it's from the company Lettuce Grow. I'll link them down below for you guys. You guys probably have seen them all over social media. They're, um, it's the company with the white towers and you can plant a bunch of vegetables or herbs or anything that you guys want. So this one is my lettuce bowl. And then I have all of this going on. I'm even, um, I'm even planting cucumbers. I believe that this might be the cucumbers ones, but we didn't get a chance this weekend because of the party to plant, uh, to build the plant tower. So in the meantime, Lettuce Grow told me that I should put them in a bowl with water and give them sunlight. So I've been taking really good care of them. When I first got them um, on Thursday, they were really small and look, they grew so much. I can now even see like uh, the part of the red leaf lettuce here. So I'm very excited. I'm growing butter lettuce as well and romaine. But yeah, these grew so much. When I got them, they were like this small, like super small. And look how big they've grown in a few days. Uh, Lettuce Grow said it's gonna take about four weeks for you to see like actual like major growth. So I'm leaving them in the sun now. I left them in my bedroom by the window for the last few days. And it's been nice, but now I want them to get used to the outdoor because I'm actually gonna put the Lettuce Grow right here because um, where we live, it's way too hot, you guys. Um, I'm sure you can't really tell, obviously, by watching the vlog, but I originally was gonna put it here because you need to put the lettuce grow structure next to an outlet. So the only two outlets we have is one right here and one right there. So I was gonna put it outside, but it's 115 degrees sometimes, so it's like way too hot. Plants will die. Look at this plant that I try growing. It's a coriander plant and it's completely fried up and dried. I tried watering it, but it just it's not gonna live in this climate. I feel like you have to plant other things, I guess, in this weather. So I'm gonna leave the tower under the California room. We're gonna put it right there. And so I added some extra water today because they sucked up all the water and I am going to get them used to this weather outside for today. And I've been monitoring them every single hour because I don't want them to fry up. So I've been checking on them and I'm, I'm hoping they'll be okay. So for the lettuce grow structure, you're supposed to water it once a day. I mean, I'm sorry, once a week. Um, and I'll show you guys, I'm gonna set it up, I think on Thursday, so we're gonna vlog it together and you, can, you guys can see the whole process, um, which I love because if you live in an apartment, you can now grow your own vegetables and you don't have to worry about having a backyard or anything. So I think it's really going to inspire a lot of my subscribers um, and my viewers that are still living in apartments or condos or whatever and don't have a lot of room but still want a garden. And I'll link Lettuce Grow down below for you guys too. But yes, I'm very, very excited and for now, they're gonna sit in these things and I'll keep you updated. We were at Ru uh, Ruben's and Veronica's last night and Ruben is obsessed with the show on Hulu called The Purge. And I am a huge Purge fan. I love all the movies. And you guys, we are watching The Purge right now. It's so good. It's on Hulu, check it out. I'm gonna wash some uh, grapes right now because I'm gonna try that TikTok trend where you put jello uh, powder on uh, grapes and you put them in the freezer. So let's see if it's good. I'm gonna wash them first. So I guess I should have just... I 
love frozen grapes. Babe, do you like frozen grapes? Yeah. There's this new trend on TikTok where they take jello powder and they put it on the grapes and they freeze it. Nice haul, kid. Looks robust. For the option. Have fun. Maybe I messed up, okay? I loved you so much. I was nothing without you, Penny. I would have done anything to keep you. And what do you do? You just... You just walk away. Can you wash these? You walk away and you never look back. be a little wet so the jello powder can stick onto it and freeze. I'm gonna 
add a little bit more. Wow, these Ziploc bags suck. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna put it in the freezer and check on it in a little bit. It's time, you guys. It's time to try our creation. Ooh. Okay, babe. This is cherry and this is grape. Mm. Come, come. Come, come, babe. Come, come. Come on. Come on. Try it with me, okay? Oh, okay. I'll wait for you though. Ready? Cheers. Mmm! Yum! Mm. I like it. Mm-hmm. Can I try it, Jared? Oh, sour. Mmm! I like the grape. This is cherry. That's pretty sour. This is good. I like uh, I like grapes so far. Let's ready go. Um. Mm. They're good. It's not bad. I'm gonna freeze them a little bit more, but that's delicious. 